It just felt like the the right choice. Meeting you both first nice of all. Nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you for having us. Fitz, I want to know how did you get Noel to join the band? <laughs> uh, well, actually, I went to college with James King, our saxophone player, and uh, right away when we were first working on the first couple ideas, we said we need to have another amazing female singer in the band, and he said there's one person you have to call, uh, and he knew Noelle, and we gave her a call, and it worked out. And the rest is history. Why was it a necessity to have a female singer in the band? Um, well, one, I'm, I'm a huge fan of harmonies and background vocals and uh, also wanted to create more of a masculine, feminine sort of repartee in the songwriting because it's so much about relationships and heartbreak and, uh, and wanted to be able to do duets and things like that. And, and so uh, it just felt like the, the right choice. When was the first time you came across her music? Was it through... King? Through James, I had heard peripherally th about her through other people, but it was only until James said, "You have to, you have to go and uh, give this this amazing talent a, a call." And uh, I went and listened to some of the music she had done in the past, and it was an easy uh, decision to make. In the first rehearsal we had, it was just it just gelled, it gelled really well. So, how are things with the rebirth now? Oh my god, they are, they're working or finishing up a record or have been for a few years now, but I just heard uh, one of their new singers, they finally found a, uh, a girl, I think she's probably like 20 or something like that, and uh, she sounds like a young Denise Williams, like, you know, I think it'll be cool what they're doing now, but I'm, I'm still in touch with all of those guys. Uh, Patrick Bailey is a really good friend of mine, the guitarist uh, in the band, and I hang out with him and his girlfriend all the time. My crew, they're doing well. How is what you did there different from Fitz and the I mean, musically, it's a completely different spectrum of, uh, of soul. Um, you know, with uh, the rebirth, it was very earth, wind, and fire, Roy Ayers driven, kind of like lost period of the 70s style vocal band stuff, you know, and it being the time period as well, like the 2019, uh, you know, like late 1990s, 2005, and stuff like that. The era was different, but. This one, you know, with the style of music that we're doing, kind of having the influences of the, uh, the slight 80s and, and uh, 60s spectrum, your uh, style council and ABC and, you know, all of that stuff. And even the success level that we're having is a completely different, you know, thing. It's, it's a lot of fun. Is it hard to get used to that? Um, no, because it, it, it's interesting with, uh, re with Rebirth, we saw a lot of kind of overseas success. Um, but we weren't really getting the same bite with the states, like people weren't, you know, really getting it as much. Um, this band is, 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 is quite different in the fact that our demographic of the, the listeners that we have are completely, it's, it's so wide. Like, I mean, you know, from six-year-olds to 60-year-olds singing our songs and, you know, coming to our shows, like, you know, your corporate, like, you know, uh, white collar guy and your, you know, like your blue collar, like construction worker and like whole families coming to our shows and just like being touched by our music. Incredible. It is really, really incredible, you know. I read your Twitter and I came across a lot of uh, hip hop names, like yes. Tupac and Talib Kweli, stuff like that. Oh, wow. Well, I haven't worked with Talib yet. It was a video that I did for Metaphor from Stone Throw <coughs> that I actually, you know, had just wrapped up like after we finished our last tour. Um, and Taleb happened to be a feature on there. But like I've worked with a lot of people from Black Eyed Peas to, you know, Dilated Peoples. Like that's been my, my, my forte since kind of rebirth stuff. And I haven't really had time for any of that since we started this band. It's been this like... We've been pretty busy. ...ongoing thing that's growing. But it growing. seems like a major switch from, from that to this, or isn't it? Um, musically speaking, yeah. You know, I grew up a lot. I mean, one of the, the main reasons I left Rebirth was because we became really stagnant creatively and I wanted something different. I wanted, you know, I wanted something that was viable for all, not just for a specific, you know, area. You know, like I felt like I really had a voice that was a lot larger than where everybody else really wanted to take it. And, you know, I, I grew up. I was with that band when I was 18. I was, you know, 28 when I left. It was a very long time. 
you know, and I, I feel like it was very serendipitous for me to have the opportunity now that I have with, you know, with our band now, Fits in the Tantrums, it's just been this like, I feel like this is where my place was supposed to be, just in the way everything aligned itself, you know. And ever, everything since then has been such an amazing experience, unforced issue with this entire band, you know, from the conception of the band, the conception of him writing Breaking the Chains of Love and getting his organ and, you know, like calling me up. on tour with Sharon Jones and the Dab Kings, Maroon 5, Flogging Molly and Hepcat, like, and opening for the specials and like, you know, to Guz Hogarth's uh, journalist here who took the, the song, fell in love with it, and sent it to 3FM, and they started playing it nonstop. I mean, that was just... That's what brought us here. One magical you know? thing after another. Twitter. Twitter and the internet and, like, you know, our KCRW, which is our public radio, you know, in the States, and right. them champion, you know, being our champion, like, you know, kind of fan and, and bringing us on a show where normally they only really bring in artists that have been around for a while. We had one EP out before we had, you know, we were, when we did that show, and that was, like, you know, it's kind of like huge. a deal breaker for a lot yeah. of our fans, yeah. you know.